Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's here today. We're talking about understanding spin off of the bat when hitting, being able to identify first the spin, understand what does that spin mean, why am I getting that spin? Right, so diagnosing the issue. Why am I getting that spin? So that I can then make the adjustment with my swing to get the proper spin, okay? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Let's talk first about spin. When you hit a ball, there's gonna be spin on the ball, okay? We'll stick with two spins today. The first spin will be back spin, all right? So back spin is when the ball spins like this, similar to how the ball comes out of your hand if you're throwing a four seam fastball, okay? So it's gonna spin like that and it's usually gonna rise. Top spin would be the opposite. Top spin works this way, like the spin of a breaking ball, okay? And a top spin hit, a ball that's hit with top spin is going to sink or go down, okay? So let's just stick with those two spins today. So when you're hitting, you're gonna hit a ball, there's gonna be spin. You're gonna look at that spin and figure out one, do you want that type of spin, right? Two, why is that spin being created? Three, how do I fix it? What adjustment do I make, okay? Now, when you hit a ball, we're searching for backspin, right? We want backspin, we want the ball to spin this way, all right? But we don't want to overspin the ball. We don't want too much backspin. And too much backspin, again, is a ball that usually will go up, but it won't go out. You'll hit a pop-up to the infield. Usually happens with a ton of backspin. You'll cut through the ball and get a ton of backspin like this, okay? All right, now let's go over each type of spin, why it's created so that if you do happen to hit a ball with too much topspin or too much backspin, you know why you did it. And that way you can fix the issue, fix your swing, all right? Okay, let's start with topspin. If you hit a ball with too much topspin, ball goes like this, you can't drive the ball, it's gonna sink, usually doesn't even get out to the outfield, sometimes you can, but the ball just doesn't carry, okay? That spin is usually created when your barrel gets below the ball and then works uphill this way, too much, right? It's coming too much uphill, so you're gonna hit the top of the ball and when you hit the top of the ball, you're going to create this top spin right here, okay? And you're gonna hit a ball that sinks and doesn't carry. Now, usually when a player hits a ball that doesn't carry, that has top spin, most people think it's because you hit on top of the ball, right? Because again, you're hitting the top of the ball when you get top spin. It's from a barrel that's coming from down here up this way and so most people think the the adjustment is oh i was on top of the ball the adjustment must be that i have to get here more i can't be here i've got to be here more in reality you lost your barrel and attacked it uphill too much and so trying to get the barrel back this way more is not going to help you it's only going to hurt you okay and so the adjustment has to be that you need to be above the ball more. You need to feel your barrel turning behind the ball more this way. Now let's go to backspin. Backspin usually happens, or too much backspin, right? Backspin is good. Too much backspin is not good. Too much backspin usually happens when you attack the ball from over the top of it and you swing down too much. So here comes the ball. You attack it this way. Now you hit the bottom of the ball. So your attack angle is negative. You hit the bottom of the ball. And when you hit the bottom of the ball, you put too much spin on it. You cut, you cut the ball, right? So you cut it or slice it this way. The ball goes like that, up in the air with a ton of backspin, but it doesn't go anywhere. Usually hit a pop-up to the second baseman or first baseman if you're a righty, to the third baseman or shortstop if you're a lefty. This happened to me for a whole year of my career. 
And what happens when you hit these balls, that people assume that because the ball goes up, you must have done this. Remember, the reason the ball went up with too much backspin is because you attacked it too much like that. But people will say, oh man, the ball went up. Hey, stay on top of that ball. Get on top of the ball. And so what do you do as a hitter? You try to stay on top of the ball more. And what happens? You hit an even higher pop-up to the infield with even more backspin. And then people will say, get on top of the ball. Stop getting under the ball. And so you'll try to do this more. And you just keep hitting more and more and more pop-ups. This happened to me in 2008. I couldn't stop hitting pop-ups to the right side. I didn't know why I was doing it. I didn't understand this. And so people, coaches, fans, everybody, stay on top of the ball. Stop hitting pop-ups. Okay, I'm trying. And I just keep hitting more pop-ups. A whole year I went through this until someone explained to me, top spin, back spin, why are they both created, how to fix it. And so that's the important part to understand. Bottom line is to fix too much backspin or too much topspin, you've got to get your barrel turned behind the ball more. I've got to get my barrel slightly up through the hitting zone, okay? But it is important to understand that if you're getting too much backspin, you're probably too much here. If you're getting too much topspin, you're probably too much here and losing your barrel, all right? And so if you're too much on top and creating backspin, you got to think this way more. If you're too much under and creating topspin, you got to think this way more. You need to be on top of the ball a bit more, all right? Getting your barrel to be behind it more, not losing your barrel, all right? So hopefully that makes sense. Understand spin, why it's created, how to fix it. You can make adjustments really quickly, and you won't be in a year-long slump trying to figure it out. Hopefully that helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're going to want to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.